Today I'd like to take a look at two sample inference with means. So please open up your study guide to this particular section. Now let's begin with an example. Suppose we have a population of adult men with a mean height of 70 inches and a standard deviation of 2.8 inches. We also have a population of adult women with a mean height of 64 inches and a standard deviation of 2.2 inches. Now assume heights are normally distributed. Describe the distribution of the difference in heights between males and females. Now let's let our random variable x be the height of a particular male and let's let the random variable y be the height of a particular female. So we know that x is normally distributed with a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 2.8 and the random variable y, the height of females, is normally distributed with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 2.2. Now let's describe d as the difference in heights of male minus female. So our random variable d is equal to x minus y. We're going to take the random variable x, the height of a particular male, minus the random variable y, the height of a particular female, and subtract those two to get the difference in heights of a male minus a female. Now recall that we have a linear combination here of two normal distributions. And since both distributions are normal, the linear combination will be normal as well. So we have a mean here for our differences and a standard deviation as well. And recall that the mean of a linear combination is equal to the mean of x here minus the mean of y, which in this case is equal to 70 minus 64, which is 6. And the standard deviation of the difference of two normal random variables here is equal to the sum of the variances. So we're going to take sigma square x plus sigma square y, and we're going to take the square root of that. Although we're subtracting the standard deviation, we add the variances together and take the root of it. So the standard deviation of our distribution of differences when we take male heights minus female heights is the square root here of 2.8 squared plus 2.2 squared. So placing this in our calculator here, we're going to take the root here of 2.8 squared plus 2.2 squared, and we get a standard deviation here of 3.561. I'll go ahead and store that into variable x in case we need to use that value later. So now the distribution for d, the difference in heights of male minus female, is going to be normal as well. Recall that any linear combination of normal distributions will itself be normal as well. And the mean of this distribution is 6 and the standard deviation is 3.561. So now we have our individual distributions and we have our distribution of differences when we take male heights minus female heights. And all of these distributions, once again, are normally distributed. So the distribution of differences, once again, is normally distributed with a mean of 6 and a standard deviation of 3.561. Recall the mean and standard deviation for a linear combination of the difference in random variables. For the random variable x and y, mu sub x minus y is equal to mu sub x minus mu sub y. So for the difference of two random variables, we just subtract the individual means. The standard deviation, however, we add the variances of each random variable together and we take the square root of that value. Now let's continue on with the same example here and let's find the probability that a randomly selected male's height is 5 inches more than a randomly selected female height. So in this particular question, we want the probability that x minus y is greater than 5 here. The probability that a randomly selected male's height is 5 inches more than a randomly selected female. And recall our distribution for d was equal to the difference of the individual heights here, so we want the probability here that d is greater than 5. Now, because d is normally distributed, Let's go ahead and draw a bell-shaped curve. 